so to consider establishment of state police. And from faraway Africa, new Senegalese president Fay vows to defend African unity. Professor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good evening and welcome to the evening news. My name is Uche Chuku Ebonam. Anambra state governor's wife, Mrs. Nonya Soludo, has advised those who are celebrating the Easter holiday to be mindful of what they consume and not to allow the occasion to take away their consciousness from right health. The governor's wife, who said this in her succeeding Easter message, pointed out that it is important for people not to allow the frenzy of the celebrations to get a better part of their health or consume out of occasional carelessness. Mrs. Soluda appealed to those who are treating underlying ailments to pay more attention to their health and be mindful of what they eat in order not to worsen their existing challenges. She explained that the general idea of Easter is to share in the resurrection of Jesus Christ through prayers, love and friendship, and not heap diseases on the body because of wrong consumption choices. The governor's wife also called for low intake of sugar, farts and fizzy drinks, as well as abstinence from alcohol abuse, drugs and other harmful habits that could escalate during the holidays. The Anambra First Lady for the urged parents and guardians to watch their children and wards closely at this time and ensure that they do not get involved in unhealthy social activities that might mar their future. While reflecting on the essence of the Easter celebration, Mrs. Soludo appealed to affluent members of the society to reach out to those living around them to share with them in the spirit of love, which is a binding definition of the occasion. She called for prayers for Anambra State and the current administration, reiterating that her husband is keen on delivering a new Anambra State that both the present and tomorrow's generations will be proud of. Still on Easter message, the Anglican Bishop of Agatha Darcy's Right Reverend Samuel Ezofo says without the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ that there will be no hope for Christianity. In a sermon at Cathedral Church of St. John Ekulovia during his service to mark Easter Sunday, Bishop Ezofo maintained that the joy of Christians lies in the resurrection of Christ. Speaking on the topic, the implications of Christ's resurrection, Right Reverend Ezofo charged Christians to always give eloquent testimonies about the death and resurrection of Christ and describe Christ's resurrection as a pinnacle of God's redemption for mankind, even as he charged the faithful to always live a Christ-like life in order to inherit the kingdom of God. Bishop Ezofo maintained that the resurrection of Jesus Christ on Easter Sunday is a total affirmation that any dead object will rise and become lively again, and cautioned Christians against being afraid of death. Right Reverend Ezofo, who is also the national chairman of the Evangelical Fellowship in Anglican Communion, EFAC Nigeria, charged those entrusted with positions of uh, leadership to find a lasting solution to the series of hardships among the people, and urge the faithful to use the period of Easter to pray for God's intervention in the myriads of challenges facing the Nigerian nation. Featured a Holy Eucharist, prayers for those in leadership positions, and Embrace State and the Nigerian nation, the president of Agot Diocesan Women's Ministry, Mrs. Chinya Ezofo, some diocesan officials and director of media and communications of Agot Diocese, Mr. Abuchimozo, were among those that attended the Easter Church service. Far from that, Police officers in Anambra State over the Easter weekend arrested an adult male holding a bag in Awada, Idemli North local government area, released by the Anambra State Police Public Relations Officer S.B. Tojukui Kinga explains that a man on sight in the police took to his heels but was chased until he was caught and overpowered. The release states that when the bag he was carrying was searched, it was found to contain an AK-47 rifle with breach number 25008266. According to the release, search of the database showed that the AK-47 rifle was not among firearms on charge to Anambra State Police Command. On interrogation, the suspect disclosed that a weapon was procured for a showdown with a rival court group. 
and Ambra State Commissioner of Police at Derimi Adoye, while commending police officers who made the recovery for their vigilance and tenacity of purpose, directed that investigation be widened and deepened to bring to book all those connected with the arms trafficking, including an alleged financier abroad who provided funds for the purchase. The Commissioner of Police also directed all personnel in the command to, rede to rededicate themselves to crime prevention and detection and service of the people in the state. A keenly contested free and fair election, Master Fitness and Wellbeing Club Oka has extended the tenure of Dr. Mekka Izenekwe to another two years in office as chairman. The election was monitored and the certification of return, uh, certificate of return presented to him by the national chairman of all progressives Grand Alliance, Abga Barsaslai Izokeongwa. Some stakeholders of the club who also voted during the election include the Deputy Governor of Anambra State, Dr. Nyagachukwi Bezim, former Speaker of Anambra State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Ucheno Kafo, the Commissioner of Env for Environment, Dr. Felix Odemugu, two top security officers and some members of Anambra State House of Assembly. Master Fitness and Wellbeing Club Oka is a social club of prominent and responsible members of Anambra State and beyond, whose shared vision is to promote fitness, love and network. Inaugurating the new executive, Barisa Zokiongwa, who is also the legal advisor to the club, charged the new leadership to remain committed to the tenets of the club, which is to prioritize the health of members and promote brotherliness and urge them to remain united towards achieving the vision of the great club in Nigeria and across the globe. The chairman of the electoral committee, Mr. Oscar Emeka, explained that the election was conducted in accordance with the constitution of the club, starting from the screening of candidates, accreditation and commencement of the election proper, and expressed delight with the majority that is sixth among them. In his acceptance address, Dr. Zenekwe appreciated the election committee and members of their prestigious club for the call to serve, and explained that the club has members from the different sectors of the economy and in the diaspora, whose objective is to ensure a world-class club Clubhouse that will encourage all members of recreational activities, interactions and networking that the club is open to new members with proven integrity and genuine source of livelihood who will undergo vigorous, uh, rigorous screening before admission as a member. In their separate reactions, the members of the club, Mr. Williams Odumo and Chief Chinedu Mwabuike, who, was, who is Based in Abuja commanded election committee for allowing their votes to be counted and correlated to new leadership on their victory and assures their continued support. The Deputy Majority Leader of Adam State House of Assembly and member representing Jakoka constituency too, Dr. Jude Abwa, and stakeholders from the constituency have conducted an inspection tour of Oyagua Bagan and Nima Road. During the tour, they praised Governor Chihu Masoluda for the high quality road construction in the area and across the state. Dr. Abwa, accompanied by his Njikoka constituency one counterpart, uh, Honor Honorable Chide Bele Bemeka, community leaders of Bagana and Nemo, as well as Abga Faithful, said the inspection is an opportunity to evaluate the ongoing road construction efforts. Dr. Abwa commended Governor Saluda for his dedication to enhancing the state's infrastructure, a site in the Oyagua Bagan and Nemo Road project as evidence of the administration's commitment to improving connectivity and that fostering social economic development in the state and emphasize the significance of the road project in promoting economic growth and improving the lives of Unjikoka residents. In their, mark, in their remarks, uh, Honorable Ibemeka representing Jakoka Constituency 1 and the Special Advisor to the Governor on Security, retired Air Vice Marshal Ben Chubi, lauded the Governor's compassion and his fulfillment of his promises to the people of Anambra, expressing confidence that the road will soon be ready for commissioning. The Transition Committee Chairman of Njikoka Council Area, Barisa Clem, Agui, traditional rulers of Abagan and Nemo, Igwe Mbamalo Keke and Igwe Magze Olubi, respectively, praised the governor's Oludo for breaking the trend of unfulfilled promises regarding the road, urging the project contractor to expedite the work. Contributing an Ambra Central's and old chairman of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, Abka, Mr. Ndokako Okoye, and Nchikoka Council Area Chairman of the Party, from Assist Chinedu Anekwe, 
encourage the people of Njikoka to support the governor's administration in appreciating appreciation of his efforts. Also, the President General of Nima Development Union, Mr. Dan Anabe, and Vice President General of Abagana, Mr. Namde Okonkwo, advocated for Governor Soludo's re-election, highlighting the road's potential to enhance transportation and stimulate commercial activities. The contractor handling the project, Mr. Uh, Mohamed Nataraji, assured that the 5.1-kilometer road will be completed the following month, expressing gratitude to the governor for entrusting them with the task. From the federal scenes, NEC National Economic Council will reconvene later this month as more state governments have submitted their reports on the establishment of state police. According to the report, no fewer than 10 states had begun the process of deploying forest guards to protect farmers and flush out bandits. The Information Minister Mohamed Idris, when he briefed State House correspondents after the meeting, said President Bola Tinubu's meeting with the governors, the federal government and states agreed to recruit forest rangers and invest in more training to keep the forest and more borders safe, said. Also at our next 140th meeting held at the Asurok Villa on March 21st, the council received reports from 16 state governors expressing their support for establishing state police. Basaro Daimoye Fay has been sworn in as the fifth Senegalese president. The 44-year-old Fay becomes Senegal's youngest president. He took over from Marquis Sal on today in an event witnessed by African leaders in the new town of Daonodo near the capital Dakar. The new Senegalese president, Fay, said, Before God and the Senegalese nation, I swear to faithfully fulfill the office of President of the Republic of Senegal, Fay said before the guarded uh, officials. He also vowed to, uh, <coughs> to scrupulously observe the provisions of the constitution and the laws and to defend the integrity of the territory and uh, national independence as well as to spare no effort to achieve African unity. From the world of sports, WBO African champion Oluwashel Wahib is set to feature on the honors card of the Ring of Fire fight, fight night where WBC champion Tyson Fury and unified heavyweight champ Oleskander Usyak will meet for their undisputed bout on May 18 in Saudi Arabia. Wahib will battle the unbeaten British boxer Mark Chamberlain in the 10th round lightweight clash at the Kingdom Arena in Rehart. The Nigerian boxer holds an impressive record of 23 wins and one loss with 16 of his victories coming via knockouts, while the Brit holds an undefeated record of 15 victories and 11 KOs as it uh, promises to be an entertaining clash between both boxers. Before we go tonight, remember that you can follow news and programs on EBS TV from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Go on to subscribe to our YouTube channel at EBS Television or CAP. On X, formerly Twitter, we are EBS Radio TV. On Instagram, we are EBS Radio TV. Go on to log on to our website at www.ebsradiotv.com. And now the main points that made the news again tonight. Wife of Anambra State Governor, Mrs. Soludo, has called on citizens to shun unhealthy social activities. Anambra State Police Command has intensified hunt for insurgents. National Economic Council is to consider establishment of state police. And finally, we told you from faraway Africa, the new Senegalese President Fay has vowed to defend African unity. And to end the news, Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the number of state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. It's given maximum support for the task ahead. And that's all on the news tonight. My name is Uche Chukwu Ibaram. Thank you so much for staying with us. Good night. Here's what's a good...